Larkin. Clan Wars 28 Phil and we are now in the welterweight division where somebody's always got to go. We've got Callum Liston taking on Paddy Henderson and we are underway. A lot of buzz and a lot of hype around this fight. The Scarecrow versus the Boogeyman. And both, both fighters really impressed on their Clan Wars debut at Clan Wars 27. Both men starting off with kicks. A lot of range to be utilized here by Henderson. And you can see there that Liston is just trying to close the distance while Henderson is using that reach to try and stay on the outside. Head kick from Liston against his 6-4-6-5 opponent. Oh, nice step away right hand there by Henderson. Absolutely beautiful and buries a right leg kick in for a good measure too on Liston. Oh, lovely uppercut. Again, it's something I said the last time Liston fought as well. It just looks like he's going out of the shop for a pint of milk. He looks cool, calm and collected in there, but he's certainly got his hands full with Henderson here. Yeah, lovely kick to the body there from Henderson, but Liston is methodical in his approach, just unfazed, moving forward, methodical. Looks to close the distance, but Henderson having none of it. Liston in on the takedown and on the double. Big base here by Henderson, trying to stop the takedown. Liston pushes through and it gets it beautifully. The SBG swordsman lands in half guard. Well, let's see what Liston can go to work from here. Big long limbs here from Paddy Henderson. Can he wrap them around for guard? Push down on that knee from Liston. Push down on Liston's knee and sneak his own knee through, regaining guard. And again, something to bring back to Clan Wars 27. I remember being hugely impressed by Liston. Really listens to his corner. And if you can pick the auto up, you will certainly hear Chris Fields in the corner screaming out instructions to Liston. Again, he's just, as you pointed to, Phil, he's just methodical here. He's going through the mechanisms to advanced position, leaning his weight on Henderson, making Henderson almost make the mistake to capitalize. Then up to the feet, big strikes landed by Liston, back in on a double. Great work there by Henderson to get back to his feet. But again, Liston is in, hunting that takedown again. Big wide base this time by Henderson and stops the first attempt. He's looking, Henderson's looking to defend here. Cross facing that arm, across in that arm of Liston. Needs to widen the legs a little bit, and he's taken down. Again, very powerful takedown from Liston. Liston again, heavy on top. Just going through his process. Henderson's got the underhook, just trying to rip up just to make it uncomfortable for Liston there. But Liston, again, just smart again, like he was at Clan Wars 27. Just getting the round, getting the points. Two big takedowns, score 10-9, Liston. Yeah, good, strong, effective start there from Liston. Scored two takedowns, that's going to be noted in the heads of the judges. That's not to say that Henderson was not without praise or not without his own points in that uh, fight. Opened up with a big body kick and was utilising his range well. He needs to keep doing that to avoid the takedown of uh, Liston. You can see as well the level for two guys that are just making their second amateur outing here at Clam Wars. There is a high level of skill here on display. You can tell both of these guys are going to have long and successful careers. Yeah, a lot of hype and a lot of, a lot of anticipation in and around this fight. Just because it's, it's a wonderful juxtaposition of you know, the shorter, powerful guy against the ranger, the, the ranger guy who the ranger guy who may not be may not be trying to get stuck into that battle in the clinch. As the Clamp Wars crowd make the noise, coming out for the second round. Becky Larkin waves us on, a touch of gloves. Here we are, Liston Henderson, round two. Oh, big shot from Henderson. And Liston wears it. Gets Closes under. the distance, that was a beautiful right by Henderson. Similar to the one he landed in the first round as well, Phil, but Liston now putting the pressure up against Henderson, against the cage. Yeah, Liston tight end, trying to utilize those double underhooks. Henderson digging in for his own underhook. Good knee to the thigh from Liston. And again, just softening up those legs. Henderson thought about his own trip there. Good 
Good strong pressure again here from Liston. And you can look. Liston again. Listen to the corner. Look. Chris Fields calling for Tread the Needle. So again. Liston looking to pepper some shots in here and maybe look for an inside trip, Phil. He's softening up that leading knee of Henderson. And Henderson's replying. But he has he's established those double underhooks, so there is a trip viable for him in this position. Just needs to push his head right into the chest. And Paddy Anderson, he wants to break away and show some offense because again to start around two. He landed that big shot, but he's been shown nothing but defense. Yeah, he's working hard to try and break that grip, but less than thought about dropping down there for a loose single. Right in front of us here, listening with the body lock on. Putting the knee in between Henderson's legs. Landing some shots as well. And as we've alluded to before, th th this is one of the most grueling aspects of MMA, where it's two, two guys, one guy trying to enforce, one guy trying to push away, and it's so draining, and I don't think enough people appreciate just how draining this position is. And Henderson looking for a trip of his own here, maybe. He's now up away and out of from the cage. Liston could, Liston could sneak his leg in around the back and drag him down to the ground from here. Henderson has to be careful as well with the maybe giving away his back and Decky Larkin breaks him up so this is where you'd imagine Henderson would want that he's landed his best shots here and a little bit of urgency and Henderson there throwing combinations he's wearing the damage that listen imposed up against the cage with them shots just under the left eye trying to jump into like a a lead hook shot there was Henderson. A nice little heel kick. Henderson with the outside leg kick. Oh, beautiful shots again from Henderson. Beautiful listing, completely unmoved by them. That's two big shots now. Henderson's landed on again. Listing closes the distance. Is he in on the double? He's got the hands connected. Can he score it before the timer's out? This would leave a big impression if he scores his takedown. He's got it. Beautiful yes. takedown to finish the round from Callum Liston. Henderson, Phil, you got to think he's frustrated every time he's landed big shots on the feet, but every time he does it, Liston closes the distance yeah, and gets the takedown. He was a lot more productive in that round, but as we've seen from Liston, he's more than happy to eat a punch to close the distance. Just has that unmoved face, will take the, that unmoved face and just will take the punch and instigate the clinch himself. The one thing as well that Liston is doing up against the cage, Phil, is he's not just leaning on him, as you can tell by Paddy Henderson's face, currently being treated by Joe Clifford, is he, he is wearing the damage show listen is thrown shots while up against the cage he's not as as you'd say it's not lay a break because they're standing but he's not just putting his weight on henderson he is peppering on with shots yeah they're little short shots but the, the cumulative damage that they cause we can see that as you say henderson's wearing that under his left eye at the minute but they're short sharp little punches in the clinch but you have to say henderson can as much as he may have been frustrated in that second and first round the light is there. He can see a route to victory. He's landed big shots and Liston. How many more of them can Liston take? He's eaten three or four like an absolute champion. So it's a very interesting tour around. Yeah, Henderson's going to maybe want to utilize a lot more of that range and and try and negate that takedown that Callum Liston's so successful with. You can almost see Henderson. He doesn't want to just be desperate and throw crazy shots because he knows Listens will close the distance just like he's tried. Very quick in his column, Liston. Henderson attempted his own through there. Well defended by Liston. And Liston again now. He's got the body lock again. We're in a familiar position where he's going to light him up with some shots here to soften him up and maybe work for some sort of trip. He potentially could take the back here if he switches round. Henderson aware of that, puts his, his foot up against the cage almost, and Liston drags him down. We're in the center of the cage now. Good strong takedown from Callum Liston. Walking Henderson off or off his back, he's the long limbs. You've got to be careful for triangles and arm bars here. But we see Callum Liston being astute enough that he's keeping the pressure and he's squaring off the hips. Anytime we see Henderson move, we see Callum Liston move just like that, just nice, methodical, paced. What he does as well is he doesn't rush the, rush the positions, Phil. He's in this position now. He's going to. He's going to accept the position and then look to move forward. He's not just pushing, pushing, pushing. He's, as you say, methodical in his work. Knee on belly. You can hear Chris Fields shouting in for him to stay where he is and work from there. 
And Paddy Henderson here it must be infuriating because he knows on the feet he's landed the cleaner, bigger shots and he just wants that chance to do that again. But every time Liston is closing down to initiate the takedowns is phenomenal. Yeah, and Liston's solid and compact. That's not the kind of mass you want on your chest making you immovable. Henderson trying his best to scramble, but with everything he does, there's a counter reaction by Liston. Liston landing little short shots again. Henderson works for the under. He's gonna single now himself. Beautiful work by Paddy Henderson, but Liston. Could set down India Darcy on Anaconda here, could call him Liston. Does he have the arm under? He seems to, it's connected here when you look at the big screens here behind us, Phil. All he needs to do is roll. He's and he switches he's, position. He's tightened it up now, this looks tight. Henderson could be in trouble here. If he hooks a leg here, he could go for a tie. So Russell Ryan. Exactly that. He's He's done done it. Beautiful work by Callum Liston. Absolutely fantastic. Speaking with Chris Fields, I asked Chris Fields, what do you want to see different from Callum Liston in this fight? And he simply said, finish. Callum Liston has done that. Unbelievable performance from the young man.